This video will cover the topic, simplifying a product involving square roots using the distributive property, basic. Consider the example problem. Multiply the square root of 2 by the square root of 10 minus 9 times the square root of 3, and simplify your answer as much as possible. The mathematical order of operations tells us that we first need to simplify what is in parentheses. However, in this case, there is no easy way to simplify inside the parentheses. So first, we need to use a distributive property to multiply the terms inside the parentheses by the term outside the parentheses. What does the distributive property do? The distributive property does the following. For any real numbers a, b, and c, we have a times b plus c equals a, b plus a, c. And for any real numbers a, b, and c, we have a times b minus c equals a, b minus a, c. We can use the distributive property to remove the parentheses from our expression. So we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 10 minus the square root of 2 times 9 times the square root of 3. Now the product property for square roots says that when we have the square root of a times the square root of b, it equals the square root of a times b. So for the square root of 2 times the square root of 10, we combine those terms, which results in the square root of 2 times 10 which equals the square root of 20. We do the same for our last terms, which results in 9 times the square root of 3 times 2, which equals 9 times the square root of 6. So now we have the square root of 20 minus 9 times the square root of 6. Is this our final answer? Not yet. This expression can be further simplified. Which term in the expression do you think can be simplified? I'm not even sure where to start. Okay, well to simplify, we look at the numbers we are taking the square root of. These numbers are called the radicand. And then determine which ones can have a perfect square as a factor. A perfect square is the square of an integer. 1 is a perfect square because it is the result of 1 squared. 4 is a perfect square because it is the result of 2 squared. 9 is the perfect square because it is a result of 3 squared. Those are just a few examples of perfect squares. Again, for our example, we want the number we are taking the square root of to have a perfect square as a factor. The square root of 20 allows us to do this. Using the product property for square roots, we can rewrite the square root of 20 as the square root of 4, which is the perfect square we want, times the square root of 5. We know that the square root of 4 is 2, so now we have 2 times the square root of 5 minus 9 times the square root of 6. And this is our final simplified answer. Why can't we simplify the square root of 6 using 4 as a perfect square factor? That's a great question. When we are factoring the radicand, we need one factor to be a perfect square and the other factor to be a whole number. Otherwise, we cannot simplify any further. If we use the perfect square of 4 as a factor of 6, then the other factor would not be a whole number. This is why 9 times the square root of 6 is simplified as much as possible. Let's do one more example. Multiply the square root of 3 by the square root of 3 plus 4 times the square root of 7, and simplify your answer as much as possible. We start by using the distributive property to multiply the terms together. This results in the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 times 4 times the square root of 7. Again, using the product property of square roots, we rewrite our expression as the square root of 3 times 3 plus 4 times the square root of 7 times 3. Multiplying the numbers under each square root results in the square root of 9 plus 4 times the square root of 21. The square root of 9 is equal to 3. And do you think the second term can be simplified any further? I don't think so, because if we factor out 21, we don't have a perfect square and a whole number as our two factors. Correct, so our final answer is 3 plus 4 times the square root of 21. So, in summary, when we're multiplying square root terms together, we first multiply the terms using the distributive property. Then, we combine the terms using the square root product property. Next, we look to simplify the terms if we can factor the radicand into two factors, one being a perfect square and the other factor a whole number. Finally, we simplify the square root of any perfect squares. You got it!